In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a safe with your crypto wallets. And this is gonna add an additional layer of protection that's gonna protect against phishing scams and hacks of your crypto wallets. So if you've seen people getting their wallets drained for ETH or for NFTs and you want to avoid that, then this is a great tool that you can use to make sure something like that doesn't happen to you. Okay, so for starters, what is safe? Well, it was previously known as Gnosis Safe and rebranded to just safe but it is a decentralized custody protocol. And what it does is you use multiple different Ethereum wallet addresses and you link them into a new safe account. And then you can put your most valuable crypto assets into that safe that is secured with multiple different wallet addresses. And then if you want to go and withdraw those assets to send them somewhere else or to confirm transactions with the wallet that holds those assets, then you need to confirm those transactions with multiple different Ethereum wallet addresses. So it has a multi-key process to confirming transactions, which adds an additional layer of security. Because if one of your wallets gets hacked, scammed, or fished somehow, then they're not gonna be able to take the assets that you have in your safe. Okay, so I think you understand the benefit. The next thing to do is to go to safe.global, hit launch wallet, and this is where we're gonna be able to set it up. So for starters, you're gonna to need to have a Web3 wallet of some sort. I'm gonna hit connect wallet and I'm going to connect my MetaMask account. And you can see once I connect my MetaMask, it recognizes that I am CryptoCove.eth, but I don't have any safe accounts yet. So this is where I'm going to hit create a new account. So the next step is that you can name your safe. So I'm gonna call mine CryptoCove Vault and I'm gonna set it up on the Ethereum network, although you can also set it up on various different layer twos, but let's just do the base chain Ethereum. And this is the part where I need to now set which different Ethereum addresses are going to be the owners of this safe and that are gonna all need to confirm transactions in order for them to go through. And you can actually add multiple different ones. So if I wanted to, you know, I could add five, 10 different uh, addresses. Now I'm not gonna do that, Obviously it would be more secure the more that you add. I'm just gonna do a simple safe with two different confirming wallet addresses. So the next one, I'm gonna call my Trezor One account and I'm gonna go over here and copy this address and paste it in here. So this first one is my MetaMask wallet account that I'm just using unsecured as a Web3 browser extension. The second one I'm using through MetaMask, but it's a Trezor hardware wallet secured account. So transactions that I want to confirm through this also have to be confirmed on my hardware wallet, which adds an additional level of protection to this. And obviously the more levels of protection you add to your safe, the more secure it's gonna be. So if you set up five different confirming wallets, each of which are using a different hardware wallet to make confirmations, that's gonna be you know max level of secure. If you just set up two owners, both of which are you know, browser extension wallets with no hardware wallet uh, security, then that's gonna be less secure. And you just need to decide what level of security you want because obviously it's gonna be a little less convenient if you have to confirm transactions with five different wallets. And so you have to find the balance that's appropriate for you, your circumstances, and the value of the assets that you're trying to secure in this safe, basically. Okay, the next thing that you can do is choose the threshold. So you can select one out of two owners have to approve, so 50% or two out of two. But let's say that I had three, I could select two out of three, meaning 66% of wallets that are associated with this have to confirm a transaction or even three out of three. And you can customize this however you want. If I had four, I could do three out of four, 75%. So you get the idea. You get to select how many wallets are going to be confirming the transactions and what the threshold is in order for this to actually go through. So once you've set this up and you've selected your threshold, you're gonna hit next. And this is where you're actually going to create your safe. You're gonna have to pay a small amount in gas fees, uh, the network fee to create a new crypto safe. So I'm gonna hit next here and confirm the transaction in my wallet. It's gonna cost about $8 to set this up, but it's a one-time setup fee. I'm gonna hit the low gas uh, priority option because I might save a little bit of money and I don't care how long this transaction takes to go through. So let me hit confirm there and we're gonna wait for this to be executed. Now, while this is going through, let me just say that the one-time setup fee of, you know, eight to $10, depending on how the gas fees are at the time that you're trying to set up the safe, is definitely, in my opinion, a worthy expense to be paid in order to add additional levels of security for your crypto assets. So if you have anything that's actually valuable, that's worth protecting, I think you'd rather spend 
you know, a small amount of money in setup fees to make sure that they can't be fished or scammed from you. Okay, so the transaction went through and my safe account has now been successfully created. So I can hit start using safe wallet and we are in. So this is what the safe wallet page looks like. Now this is the address of CryptoCove.Vault. So I can copy this and I can use that to send different assets to it. I can send ETH, I can send tokens, I can send NFTs, whatever I want on the Ethereum blockchain. So let me show you what happens now if I send some ETH to this and then I try to send it back out. First, I'm gonna copy my wallet address. I'm gonna go over to MetaMask and I'm gonna hit send, paste this in here and select the amount that I wanna send. So let's say 0.01 ETH, hit next. And then it's saying that the gas fees are gonna be about a dollar and 28 cents, fine all for the purposes of science. Okay, so this transaction was a success. And now going back to my safe wallet page, you can see that I have one token here. So if I hit on the assets tab, either on the left-hand side or this button here that says view assets, uh, forget about the spam filter. Yeah, you can see I have 0.01 ETH with a value of 16 US dollars. So this is a good way that you can track all the different assets that you have. If you have NFTs, they'll show up as well uh, in this tab here. Obviously, I don't have any of those right now. You can see the transactions and you can have an address book to make it easier. So if you want to send money to someone that you've already sent money to, that will show up here. Now, what happens if I want to send this ETH back to my other wallet? So let me show you. I'm gonna to go to the asset, I'm gonna hit send and I'm gonna select my recipient. So actually, since I'm already in the address book, I can just send it back to cryptocove.eth and I'm gonna select max. Now I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna to have to confirm this transaction with both of the different wallets that I set up with this safe account. Now, one cool feature that you're seeing here is that you can actually batch a bunch of transactions, which I'm not gonna do now because I don't have different transactions to do. But let's say that you, know, you only wanted to do once a month where you went into your safe and you, you sent a bunch of money out. Well, you could batch all of those so you can sign all those transactions at the same time. Just makes it a little bit more convenient. But anyways, right now I'm just gonna hit the sign button. Now this is gonna open up MetaMask and then first I'm gonna have to sign this with my CryptoCove.eth wallet. So I'm gonna sign that there. Now this transaction is successfully in the queue. And when I go to the transactions page here, you can see that this transaction has confirmation one out of two, but I'm gonna to have to confirm it now with my Trezor wallet. So if I go over here and switch to my Trezor wallet and hit connect, then the button confirm is gonna pop up and it's gonna allow me to confirm this transaction, which I will do here. So I verify that the details are correct and I'm gonna execute this transaction now with my Trezor wallet. It's gonna pop up in MetaMask. I have to confirm that I wanna pay the gas fees for this. And opening up now the Trezor Connect page where I export my public key. I put in my pin code. And this is again that extra level of security by using a hardware wallet along with the Web3 wallet. And then select which wallet I wanna use. And here we go, waiting for this transaction. And it's on my wallet here. So I double click confirm. And this should go through. Okay, so the transaction was successful and the ETH that I sent to my safe was now sent back to my CryptoCove.eth account, obviously minus a few transaction fees that I paid for the tutorial. But that is how you set up and use a safe wallet. It's a great tool to keep yourself safe and secure in the world of cryptocurrency where scams are everywhere. So I definitely recommend setting one of these up, especially once you reach a point where you're worried about you know, having a substantial amount of value held in your crypto wallets and you wanna keep it extra secure. Hopefully you found this useful and have a great day.